Hello, and welcome to the Super Data Science YouTube channel. My name's David, and today I'm going to take you through some dplyr basics. The reason we use dplyr is because it's much faster and much easier to read than base R. So first of all, let's load our dplyr package. Today we're going to look at grouping by and summarizing our data, adding new variables, selecting a different set of columns, filtering our data set, and sorting it. So first of all, we'll summarize our data set. And today we're going to be using the Titanic data set, which is one of the preloaded data sets in R. So let's just have a look at what we've got here. So we can see we have the class, the sex, the age, whether they survived or not, and the number of people in that group. So first of all, we want to see the total number of passengers. So we'll have number passengers equals summarize. And then we want to do that with data. And what we want to summarize is number of passengers equals the sum of the frequency column. So if we run that and have a look at number of passengers, we can see there's a total of 2,201. Now, one of the things that's very common to use when using dplyr is piping. Now, what piping does is it feeds the previous data frame into the next statement. So we do data, and then if you hit Control, Shift, and M, you get this percentage greater than percentage, which means we're going to be feeding that data set into our next statement. So we can just type summarize number of passengers equals the sum of frequency. And that will give us the same answer as the line above. But once we start doing more steps, it's going to be a lot easier to read if we use this piping rather than putting in the data at the start of the summarize statement. Next up, we're going to look at group by. Now this allows us to summarize data by different groups. So let's say we want to know the number of passengers by class rather than just the number of passengers overall. So we'll do number of passengers by class equals data and then we hit control shift M to get that piping and then we have our group by and we want to group by class. Then again, we put the piping in as we want to feed that into the next statement, which is our summarize. And again, we want number of passengers equals the sum of the frequency column. Now, if we run that, we can see now we have the number of passengers by class. So we can see that the highest number of passengers is actually crew. Now we're going to look at select. Now this allows us to select just a few columns. So if we just want our data set with sex, age, and frequency, we type data, then put our pipe, and then select the columns that we want. So we want sex, age, and frequency. Now if we run that, our new data frame will only have three columns. Next, we're going to look at mutate. Now, mutate is used to add new variables or alter variables that are already there. So let's create a new data frame called data2, and we'll add a column to it. And all we're going to do is multiply frequency by 10. So we want our frequency column multiplied by 10. If we run that and we take a look at the head of data 2, we can see we have this new column called frequency underscore 10, which is 10 times frequency. Next, we'll look at filter. Now, this allows us to filter out rows that we don't want. So let's create a data frame, which is just our female observations. So we have data, then our pipe, then we have filter, and we want observations 
where sex is female. So if we run that and have a look at the head of our data frame, we can see that we only have female as a sex. Now let's look at a range. Now this is a much more convenient way of sorting than the base R sort. So if we have data equals data, control shift M, and then arrange, and let's arrange by frequency. Now if we run that and have a look at it, we can see the head has a frequency of zero. This is because it automatically sorts ascending. So to change that to a descending sort, we just put wrap the frequency in desk. Now if we have a look at that again, we can see that our frequency is sorted descending. And we can see that male crew who didn't survive is the most frequent group. I hope this has been really useful. If it has, don't forget to share and like the video and check out other videos on the channel.